speaking of, of, of uh, players who are sharpshooters and, and very good finishers, um, we're going to drop even further down to, to the under-18s, uh, and that's to discuss Jude Sunsup bell uh, who's got 12 goals for the under-18s this season uh, in, in the under-18 Premier League, um, but has also already played seven times for the 23s. Um, and he is, you know, he's, he's 2004 born, and, you know, there are not too many 2004s playing um, PL2 Division One football at the moment. So that's, you know, that's that's a flag in itself. Um you know, there was there was also the the FA Youth Cup game against Barnsley, which he scored four in. Which again, you know, <laughs> there do tend to be quite a few emphatic FA Youth Cup victories for for Chelsea, but that one was a was a very emphatic one for Sunsup Bell. Um, I I haven't actually watched m- very much of him. You know, I've only watched sort of highlights of his. Um, but from from your perspective as a Chelsea fan, you know, wh- and, and sort of within the Chelsea fan base you know what has the has there been much discussion has there been much intrigue over you know this this young striker who's who's bagging goals well if anything I I mean this is a bit boring but I do think there's a little bit too much hype around him in the, in the Chelsea fan base just because you know he is only 17 um and only just turned 17 at that um and you know you see on Twitter these these funny things of you know um him being compared to like Bruno Fernandes, you know, a player oh, who no. doesn't even share the same <laughs> position of it as him and stuff like that. And you just have to laugh it off. You know, it's not kind of, you know, it's always, you know, humorous to an extent. But, um, you know, him as a player, I think obviously he's a fantastic talent and, and he's a great player, but he's also a really interesting one um, from a kind of analytical point of view um, with regard to strikers from the Chelsea Academy, because he is... If you think about all the strikers who have come through, you know, your Tammy Abrahams, your E.K. Ugbos, who we've discussed um, previously in the pod, but he is someone who, at the tender age of 17, has got really, really good back-to-goal play. So he ho- he's not huge, you know, he's quite tall, but he's quite slender as well, but he holds the ball up really, really well. Um, he played midfield until, I think he was about 14 or 15, so he's got you know, a very good passing range for a number nine. He's got good, obviously very good ball striking ability, but that's not just seen as shooting. It's also seen in, in his passing. Um, and, you know, he's very two footed. I think um, in the, I think it was his first Premier League two start, actually, he scored within about five minutes on his left foot from outside the box, his weaker left foot against Man United. Um, and that was, you know, obviously really impressive, but it just goes to show what a kind of well-rounded player is player he is and I think he's potentially one of the most well-rounded strikers at his age to ever come out of the Chelsea Academy and I just realized that I've complained about people overhyping him and I've just said something that is probably going to cause quite a lot of hype about him but you know obviously he is only 17 and all these things are said with you know the with the knowledge that you know development isn't linear and, and anything can happen in the future.